Hey Imperfect Life Insiders, this is Kamira with Imperfect Life and today I wanted to talk to you about a subject regarding grief. Grief has no time limit. I wrote a post about this on my blog and I'll leave the link in the description box below but I um, just wanted to give you some commentary regarding this topic because I think it's an important one and I think when you are grieving the loss of a pet you will find a lot of things you did not expect when it comes to um, getting feedback from other people, friends, family. Some people will be like, oh, it's just a pet. When you get another one, um, you know, the cat was going to be live a short life anyway, or the dog was going to live a short life anyway. You'll hear so many different types of comments. But today I'm going to specifically talk about the emotions and aftermath after grief even when a lot of time has passed by you may still feel those emotions and that's normal so um one of the dirty little secrets no one really talks about after losing a pet is the inconsistent episodes of crying and feelings of guilt so it may be several months or years since your pet has passed and yet you will have moments where you still fight back tears um this is what I mean when grief has no time limit. I know from my own personal experience when my cat passed away back in 2015 and I eventually had to go back to work and it was several months, several months, um, even up to a year after, especially when you are facing things like their birthday, their gotcha day, holidays, or other like pivotal milestone moments, you get really emotional. Um, and you know, it just wells up with emotion. But what I've learned over time is where there is deep love, there is deep grief. And that's okay. So don't let anyone tell you like you should get over this in X amount of time. Um, what I've also learned is that when it comes to grief, it's not something you get over. It's something you work through and live with. So I just wanted to share that um, with you just as a word of encouragement and um, also just remember that, you know, just take it day by day. The other thing and last thing I want to know is time does help. Does time heal all wounds? That's up for debate. Does time help? Absolutely. Um, now that I am, you know, it's at the time that I'm making this video, it's 2021, so compared to how I felt five years ago, so much better. I can actually talk about Dusty, my cat, talk about her, laugh, and you know, remember and reminisce without tears welling up. It's more from a place of joy. So time does definitely help. You just have to take it day by day to get there. But I just wanted to reiterate when it comes to losing a pet and um, grief grief has no time limit you work through it in your own time the best way you can the most um, productive and healthy uh, healthy way you can and what I mean by that is you know either that means seeing a professional if you need the help if that means volunteer work and paying it forward and helping other pet organizations or other things that make you happy, if that means working through your grief with art or other creative projects, any way that positively helps inspire you again. So just wanted to share my thoughts on that. Grief has no time limit and last but not least, remember to just take care of yourself and um, you will get through this too. Just take it one day at a time. It is completely normal. If you want to read the full post where I go a little bit more in depth on this topic, you can check out the link below in the description box. And until next time, talk to you later.